there is two kinds of VR. One of the format of VR could be where you can navigate through a 2D space. So you actually you feel inside the VR, inside of this virtual space. And there is a second format that basically you reproduce 360 video, which simulate a, a virtual space, but you can't you can't throw in the the virtual space. So you can have you have two options. The first one could be a computer. If you want a computer, you are a gamer, you have one, a really good one, you can uh, have your computer plus a headset like Oculus or HTC Vive. If you don't have this kind of uh, devices, you can buy or you have one a mobile devices. You can use your mobile, you can download your APK and apps from Google Play perhaps, and then use for with a headset of your headset for mobile. So there is uh, different devices depending on the user you are, we can say, or what you like. If you're a gamer, probably you want to use uh, Oculus Rift or HTC Vive because the quality is higher. But if you are a casual gamer or just because you love VR and you want to feel how is it, you can do it with your smartphone and it will be uh, fine as well. It's the same experience. Just the, it's the rendering is changing. So basically you can use this VR headset with this smartphone and you can put on it, it's fine. And you are going to launch and it's already done. Yeah, actually, we develop uh, apps for reading, so our, uh, we are very interested to improve reading skills using VR. So basically, we adapt uh, fairy tales, okay, to uh, engage and motivate the students in order to improve their skills. So imagine that you can go through the through the the Hansel and Gretel worlds. You can interact with the characters. You can with in a VR uh, environment, you can be, we can follow your activities, we can do a, a lot of stuff. So it's very engaging way to use VR. If you don't like too much to read, perhaps, it's a way to discover other, the, the, the reading.